Okay everybody welcome back. In this video we are going to complete our basic animation. I hope this video is helpful to you. If it is, you might be interested in having a look at the entire course which you can find on Skillshare and on Udemy. Link in the description. Let's start by shrinking this fly because he's quite big. I mean look at that he's as big as a frog's head. If the frog would eat him his whole head, head would explode. Anyway let's be serious. Let's shrink the size of this fly and let's use the selection tool to do that. Okay, so something like this is good enough. And now we're going to do what's called frame by frame animation. That means we're just going to handle each frame one by one from the start to the finish. First we take this frog level and we extend it. I guess we'll be using 24 frames. So let's drag it down here to 24. I can always adjust this later if I have to. And I'm going to do the same for the mouth. Next let's go back to the fly level. Select the entire fly and press Ctrl C to copy. Go to the next frame and press Ctrl V to paste. So now you can see we have two drawings in two frames. And then let's add four onion skins. And now in the second frame I'm going to use the selection tool again and I'm going to move the drawing just a little bit. And I'm going to repeat this many times. So let me just paste in all the frames I'm going to use. Control V, Control V, Control V. Until we get to about here. And it's about here that the fly will get eaten by the frog. And now it's time to move each and every one of these drawings. Is this the best way to do this? Absolutely not. <laughs> there are much better ways. But because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're going to do it the most straightforward yet one of the most tedious ways. In a future video, we are going to learn a much better way to do this. There is one advantage to this way though, and that's as beginners, we are starting to get a feel for timing. And when the fly reaches here, he will reach his final destination. So we can preview what it's going to look like over here. As you can see, it's a bit on the fast side. So one way I can slow things down is by decreasing the frame rate. Next, we also want to animate the mouth of the frog. Let's add a new drawing over here. So we right click on the level over here and choose duplicate drawing. Now we have a number two over here. So we can modify this drawing. And in order to open this frog's mouth, I'm going to use this funny pump tool. The pump tool simply widens the stroke. Click and drag on the stroke with the pump tool to make it more wide or more narrow. Duplicate the drawing again. And widen the mouth a little bit more. And again, and again. And we also want to draw a tongue. To do that, we need to add a new style. In fact, I realized I made a bit of a mistake, but a mistake is also a learning opportunity. What I did is I started opening this mouth a little too late. So if you do something like that and the timing is off, in that case, no worries, you can move these frames. And the most straightforward way to do that is to copy and paste these drawings.
And let's make the mouth a bit bigger still. And finally, let's start drawing in the tongue too. We are also going to animate the tongue in a frame by frame way. So now we've done animating the mouth as it's opening and next we have to animate the mouth as it's closed. Luckily for us, a closing mouth is just exactly uh, the same as an opening mouth only in reverse. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste these frames, but then in reverse order. 